Uh, so our next talk is going to be about uh, is technology the next ALS cure? And to demonstrate the effectiveness of technology, uh, Press for Life CEO Shai Rishoni will present within himself the, techno the technology being developed by Price for Life and Hello World. Until there is a cure, there is technology. Hi, my name is Irish Shoni and I am the CEO of Prize for Life. People with ALS are technology's best consumers. To begin with, we need it to breathe, but we need it to mobile ourselves, to move the act, to activate the world, and most importantly, to communicate. So technology in the ALS world isn't just assistive. It's transformative. I will first give you just a glimpse of one revolutionary project we are working on. Then I will demonstrate another innovative project used for communication. You all know the ALS FRS test. State of the art advanced technology based on pen and paper to measure the advance of the disease with patients. This is the common and perhaps the only approved way. No, not only to monitor patient status, but also to determine clinical trials success. But the ALS FRS questionnaire is also very noisy, subjective, requires a visit to the hospital paying a chi loaves parking fee, then going to the bank for second mortgage. So much that effort, given there is no treatment, that patients simply avoid going to get checked. Another thing missing is data storage. Today, the data collected about those few who come to do the ALS FRS check stays at the clinic unavailable for neither patients nor researchers out of the clinic. Not good at all. This is why Prize for Life developed the ALS FRS application, or in its new name, MyWay. It is a smartphone-based application that monitors the patient's activities both passive and active and measure their ALS FRS scale automatically the data is objective, collected daily and weekly, depending if passive or active, and stored anonymously in the cloud for research. This is my way to regain control over my status, my progression and my cure. This is, I don't need to tell you, the revolution. I can't tell you much more about it, but I will settle to show off by telling you Prize for Life recently won the Genesis Generation Prize of $100,000 for this invention. So probably we are doing something right. The second product we are developing, together with Hello World, is not less revolutionary. It's a communication device for the locked in patients, such as myself. That is screen free. It is called the eye control. It enables communication anytime, anywhere. Stephen Hawking, my colleague, once said that there is one human right more basic than the freedom of speech, and that is the freedom to speak. The trick is glasses with infrared camera that read the eye movements and blinks as if it was a joystick, a very small computer in the size of a cigarette package, and, instead of a screen, an earphone to give you a feedback where you are on a virtual board. The output is vocal as well, via a small speaker, as you can hear very soon. 
and yet of course there is a Bluetooth connection to any smartphone or tablet, and from here the sky is the limit. It is very cheap, fully mobile, super simple and will enable basic communication anywhere, in the car, in bed, on the move, even at a G-Lobes parking lot. We will now try to demonstrate it. First I will do this Emil auto calibration. Then I will demonstrate sentence picking. These will enable any user to record the most common requests such as I am hot or I need to pee. Then I will try to demonstrate letters picking and words and sentences building. I remind you that this is a prototype and still under development. So I hope it will work well. Last night it did. Because without it, in the state technology is right now, I cannot speak. I need it to work well because it's the only way for a patient with ALS to stand in front of an audience, look them in the eyes, and speak. And although we can no longer speak, we still have a voice, and this voice should be heard. I also like you to meet each AI Cornbrook who is the man behind the development of this product. If it doesn't work it is his fault. <laughs> Just in case before I turn off my eye gaze system I thank you very much for listening to me about the great stuff we do at Prize for Life. I also like to invite you all to come up to the stage for a group hug as part of the global hug moment for ALS, celebrated today all over the world. Thank you. Now Shai will demonstrate the eye control.
Shai is calibrating the, the eye control. He's looking for uh, uh, up, up, down, right, left, and uh, blink. And uh, now we will uh, say predefined the uh, sentences. I communicate to you screen free. No other communication device in the world can do that. Say hello to a Thai who developed it. Say hello to a tie who developed it. <laughs> what I do now is choosing pre-recorded sentences every patient can choose. These can be I am hot or I need to pee. Now I will try to show you, first time ever, word selection. Connecting application. So uh, besides the predefined sentences, we also have an uh, Android uh, application, which uh, enables Shai to uh, write uh, free text and uh, speak using the text-to-speech engine of the uh, smartphone. We'll try. Connecting application. So Shai uh, started to uh, to spell the words uh, "come hug me." Um, we have some problem here, but you are all invited to come and hug Shai. So the International ALS Day, which is today, is celebrated by a global hug moment for ALS, which takes place today all over the world. And we thought this would be a nice opportunity to say how we feel about accelerating ALS research and also to thank Mira and Uri for this organization. So if you can all join us for a hug moment. I w we will start.